Howdy ho there, neighbor. This is Slippery Slope here with Python tutorial number 13. And in this one, I'm going to go over the differences between input and raw input. And I know I did briefly touch on it in a previous video. And I said, oh, they'll tell you raw input does this and input does that. But you know what? They're not telling the whole truth. Well, they're telling enough of the truth that it works for our purposes because there are some differences between input and raw input depending on if you're using an old version or not, but let's not even think about it right now. So let's just go to File and New Window. Um, if you're already here, congratulations, good job. Awesome show, good job. If you get that reference, nice stuff. If not, you're still cool. Um, when we type up input, Right now, anything in there, we're not looking for a string. And if we're using raw input, yeah, we're talking strings. So basically, let's say raw input, favorite color, and we can kind of assume that it's a question. And we're going to need a variable to store this in, so let's just go with color. So color equals raw input, because remember, raw input is for string answers. And we're going to ask favorite color. Run this. Uh, needs to be saved. And sure, why not save as pi pi pi. You can call it whatever you want. I'm calling it pi pi pi, because that's kind of silly, and I'm in a silly mood. Uh, run module. Favorite color, uh, Python. Is that a color? Probably not. But uh, yeah, it took it. It said, okay, your favorite color is Python. Nice knowing you, good stuff. Um, going back here, back to uh, Pi Pi Pi, as I called it, what if I take out the raw? Just say input favorite color, save, run again, favorite color. Um, Daffodils, I'm probably, yeah, I'm, I'm, I know I'm spelling daffodils wrong, I have to do, but you get this error, trace back, most recent call last file, pi pi pi, line one, in my phone. what it means is string, hmm, we're not looking for a string, in a line one you give us a string, so no, that's not going to fly, remember, I just changed this to the raw input, and then a string answer is just fine. Now, again, we can use input um, for, say, something where we want a numeric answer. So let's say we ask, how many fingers am I holding up? Save it. Run it. How many fingers am I holding up? Oh. Yeah, we're cool. So there you go. That's uh, the basic difference between input and raw input. If you want a numeric answer, give input a go. If you want a string answer, that would be a collection of characters. Uh, that wouldn't be just a real, true number answer, um, though a real number is something entirely different. If you know your math, you know what a real number is. But, uh, yeah, so that's the difference. If you like what you see, feel free to subscribe. Slippery Slip signing out. Peace.